Man, I can't wait to drive that skit. Oh my God. Please, famous Mopar driver Richard Petty, give me the strength to survive. I need your help right now. Oh my God. Dearest Bo Duke, my Mopar has been taken. Please, only you can save me. Give me ideas on how to keep my Mopar safe. This is a nightmare. Nightmare? Oh, oh. Wake up. What, what, what? Scat back. Oh, oh my God, I just drank. Guys, I had a dream my scat pack got stolen. Oh, Lord have mercy. We gotta come up with six ways to keep it from getting stolen. Let's go! Dodge Challenger Scat Pack. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Mopar Life. Today I'm going to go over about six ways that you can try and keep your Mopar from getting stolen. Now, if you've been watching the news, if you've owned your Mopar for a while, you know that these things are getting taken every single day. Challengers, Chargers, RT, Scat Packs, Hellcats. They're just being taken from motel, hotel, driveway, restaurant, wherever you park this thing, you come back and it's gone. And uh, I know just like me, some of you guys are probably on the same uh, Facebook pages, the same Mopar forums, Challenger forums, Charger forums. And every day somebody gets on there and says, hey, they got me. And uh, so we don't want our cars stolen. And so uh, I've kind of put a little list together of about six things that we can do as Mopar owners to try and keep our cars to us and not the thieves. Nobody hates a thief more than somebody that gets their stuff stolen. And uh, if you're like me, uh, my challenger is my pride and joy and i definitely don't want it stolen in the hands of somebody who is going to mistreat that's my bait i work hard for it and uh, i want it here with me whenever i want to drive it so let's go over about six things that you can do uh that may help now nothing is 100 percent we gotta uh, make sure we reiterate that fact these things are just things that may be helpful but nothing is 100% because if somebody wants your car and has all the time in the world, then they're going to take it. But these are things that hopefully can uh, prevent them just from the general idea of slowing them down. You know, if we can slow them down a little bit, because be honest with you, uh, everywhere you look, there is a Mopar. They're everywhere. Everywhere you look, there's a Scat Pack. There's a Hellcat. And so there's a bunch of them out there. So if uh, the thief tries to get yours and it takes too long, then hopefully they'll move on to the next one. And that's what we're going to work on today is just a few things that uh, can have them move on to the next car. And hopefully uh, that next one is not yours. Um, but let's go over uh, about six things. Let's get started. Okay, so number one, the first thing you can do to save your baby at home is park it in a locked garage there are tons of videos out there of these challengers and chargers getting stolen right out of the driveway and i'll go over in a minute some of the ways that they're doing that but just the fact that they've got immediate access to it in the driveway of your house it's dark if you don't have uh cameras then that sucker is just gone and even if you do, it may still just be gone. So if you have the ability to put it in a locked garage, um, and I know some of you guys may have garages, and you may, they may be stacked up with uh, Christmas decorations, Halloween decorations, all of grandma's furniture, or who knows what. But that's the number one line of defense, is park it where they can't even get it, they can't even see it, they don't know it exists. Someone driving down the street, they don't know that they're 
is a sick challenger or sick charger behind that closed garage door and they can't get into it that's number one now let's move on to number two all right number two is going to be get you a faraday bag something like this right here what a lot of these thieves are doing is when you get out of your car let's say you're over at walmart and uh, god forbid you, you'd have to take it to walmart or, or sam's club or costco or some big place and park way out in the parking lot and you get out when you have this key it's sending a signal to the car right now if i'm just holding it in my hand it's sending a signal already that way it knows that I'm close to the car and as a convenience it'll allow me to hit the button and lock it and unlock it and stuff like that and get in and when your key fob when it's just in your pocket and you're walking around uh, these guys can be driving by with their fancy computers or little thief computers and they can pick up on that signal and when they pick up on that signal then now they can program their own fob and so then they've got a key fob to your car and it's as simple as walking over and getting in it it detecting their new fob and then they drive off in it and it's gone um, so if you get one of these little bags right here you can put your key in it and it won't be sending that signal out all the time so uh, if they are driving by looking for a key signal they won't get yours they may get somebody else's but they won't get your key let me show you how it works it's actually pretty cool you saw it just now where i got the key fob here and i can lock and unlock the door and uh, whatever else i need to do because it knows i'm here now let's put the key in the bag so we're going to open up the bag and you make sure you put it it's got this little lining right here you just put the key in there where the line part is and close it and then now your signal's safe it can't get out to get picked up by the thieves driving by when they saw you pull in in this beautiful scat pack so you go to press this button nothing happens it can't do anything you pull it out and then let's press our lock unlock it works perfectly but we put it back in the bag we can't do anything doesn't work these bags are super cheap on Amazon, about $6 a bag, I think. It's a little bulkier than a key, but, uh, you know, if you have cargo pockets or something, it's no big deal. But it'll keep your key safe, uh, your signal safe, from the uh, thieves that are driving around. Especially if you live in a big city, man, I would not want to go. I live in East Texas. I would not want to go to Dallas or Houston and uh, park my scat pack without having one of these bags. Uh, just to keep that signal protected all right number three is get some kind of gps unit for your car now the dealership that i bought my car at they already actually had a hellcat stolen from their lot so on all their high horsepower cars they come uh they install the uh the mopar electronic vehicle tracking system that's this thing right here with the blinking blue light and uh, of course i had no control over that they install it it's one of those dealer add-ons where they they try and get you but uh in the end i can look up my vehicle's location if i need to you know god forbid if i have to put it in the shop somewhere and leave it overnight or or whatever the case may be at least i've got that now since i'm over paranoid i ended up getting my own additional gps unit right here and this thing um is my little my backup and you can get these on amazon they're not very expensive uh you do have to pay a monthly subscription but it's not terrible but the good thing about that one is uh, i can hide it in the car wherever i want if someone steals my car they can see obviously that it has the tracking system these thieves are going to know how to quickly disable that uh, and unless they're checking for additional trackers hopefully my backup system will help and the good thing about the backup one that i've got the little cheap amazon one is that uh it will give you updates the second the car moves so if i park it outside of walmart and i go inside uh and someone tries to get in it and drive off with it it'll alert me immediately tell me the car's on the move and i can see where it's going where it's been uh everything uh with you know 30 second interval updates or whatever whatever it is 
um, but it's cheap enough to where I can hide it. Now I have one that's not hard hardwired into the car, so it runs on a battery. Now and that battery lasts about two weeks, and then I recharge it and then stick it back in there and go for another time. So you know you charge it twice a month, uh, and it's it not to me that's not a, an inconvenience. I, I appreciate the peace of mind of knowing that I can know where my car is at at any given point and even better know if it leaves the area where I last left it. It'll give me an update um, and it also alerts me when the battery's low so I don't just sit around driving around thinking I've got a good battery. So that's an extra thing uh, you can put on there. So in my case I've got two GPS's on there just in case they get past uh, the other two things that I'm about to show you. I've got the GPS that, that'll help me out. So, all right, that was number three. Okay, so for number four, we're gonna go inside the car. Another way these thieves are taking your car once they get into them is they're just slipping it into neutral and then roll, pushing it out, pushing it up on a trailer or whatever the case may be. So how they're doing that is if you pop this little piece right here, you see in there, it's got a little pull tab, even with a nice little uh, red cloth puller on it. You yank that up, it puts the car in neutral, and it rolls away. So, I've got this thing here from Destroyer 1320, and basically it's a cover. It is a metal cover that goes over that. You have to take this entire thing out to bolt this on, so when you lift it up, all you see is metal so when the thief comes in here and pulls this out and tries to access that it's blocked now can they lift this entire thing and get out absolutely this is not 100 percent but what we're talking about with stealing your car is time is a thief generally speaking isn't going to want to be in your car for a long period of time because that attracts a lot of attention. It makes noise and people get alerted to stuff like that. And the owner may show up. So the idea behind this is to just uh, stall for time. If a thief is trying to get into your car and finds too many roadblocks, hopefully they'll go on to the next one. Because you know, if they can go through all of this effort to try and get in your car uh, and steal it, then at that point, it's just theirs. I mean, like I said, if somebody wants it bad enough, they're going to take it. These are just things that will help to make that clock last a little longer. Well, they may just go, well, forget it. I'll go get the next one that doesn't have something like this. Because when you go uh, from just popping this uh, holder out and pulling it into neutral and, dry, and then pushing it away to now I can't get to it and I got to take this entire thing apart, now that's a problem. And so hopefully... That's a problem that uh, will have your car still sitting there uh, when you get back from wherever it was you left it. Okay, number five. Now I'm going old school on this one, guys. Does anybody remember this? The club. Now, yeah, mine is probably one of the originals because I bet you I've had this thing 25 years. Um, and I still use it occasionally, especially if I just absolutely have to park somewhere you know questionable for whatever reason then i keep this in the trunk and i'll bring it out and put it on the car and of course the whole idea behind this was you know they can't turn it uh but once again everybody's gonna go well they could just cut the steering wheel they can cut the club off people can break into that yeah they absolutely can um but we're the idea is hopefully to slow people down because if you have the club if you have the uh neutral blocker if you have uh anything else in the car that's gonna try and add time for them to steal it hopefully they'll move on to the next one because to be honest with you even though these cars are our pride and joy there's still other ones out there like you walk through a parking lot you're not going to be the only one so you know if you can keep yours then that's great and that's the whole idea behind it so even something old school like this could be just uh, enough to keep somebody from wanting to take your car and just move on to the next one okay number six the very last and final way that you can try and slow down a thief from stealing your car is to add some kind of kill switch 
and you can do something as simple as just one of these little switches right here that will interrupt some aspect of the car a lot of people and what i'm going to do on mine is i'm going to interrupt this button right here and what it'll do is it will allow me to hide this somewhere in the car where only i know where it's at and i have to press this button to make this button work because if someone clones your key fob because you don't have the faraday case and then they get their own copy then they can get in here they can unlock the car and they can get in the car but and they can remote start the car because it'll still work however you can't go anywhere without pushing the start button so if i put an interrupter on the start button where i can turn it off and it doesn't work then they can just press it all day and it's not going to start the car and that's a good way to keep them slowed down because then they have to go okay where is this kill switch let me search this entire car for it or let me just rip the entire dash apart to be able to you know hot wire these wires back together so you know you're talking about taking the dash apart um it you know it's not going to take a thief too long to take it apart find the wires and then plug them back in but that's time even if that takes 20 seconds or less that's still 20 seconds on top on top of the time it takes them to do everything else to be able to get in the car so it's another one of those things that can help give you the peace of mind just because if they get in real quick they hit the button it doesn't work then hopefully they'll just say you know what forget it and move on to the next one that's the whole idea behind all of this these things are not 100 percent but they are a way to at least help either deter it or make it where uh, the thief realizes, hey, this is too much effort, let me go on to the next one. Because uh, chances are the other car is not going to have any of these you know, fail safes in there to prevent theft, and then they can just do their business in that car and be gone with it. So, But hopefully not yours, because uh, you'll have some of these things that I've talked about today. And these things are pretty cheap. Um, the, new, the uh, neutral cover, you can get this off of uh, uh, his website, uh, Destroyer1320. And then these little switches, I just got on Amazon. And uh, you put them in yourself. And it's a fun uh, a few, you know, some fun time working on your car. Good garage time. And uh, then it plus it gives you a little bit of peace of mind. So thanks for watching. <laughs>